I want to quickly talk to you about the top 10 cargo van business money losing mistakes you must absolutely avoid to be a successful startup. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the top 10 cargo van business money-losing mistakes you must absolutely avoid to be a successful startup. This is important. The first one is insurance, okay? Lacking the proper insurance coverage can cost you a lot of money. Not only in terms of uh, regulation, in terms of regulatory compliance, but also in terms of business. Okay, this is important. So, delivery businesses require insurance policies to operate. No doubt about it. However, some treat it as a little more than a mere formality and neglect to secure the proper coverage. So, boss, I don't want you to do that, okay? Because you can end up struggling with your financial resources when problems arise. Don't let, don't let this happen to you. This is important. So, you want to make sure you explore all of your all your options to find the right resources, the right insurance coverage your business needs. This is important because that insurance will help protect your business financially in the event of an issue. And anything can happen, boss, anything can happen. When you have a cargo van business, anything can happen. So this is important that you need to have the right, the right insurance, okay? And I'm talking here about cargo vans. I'm talking about passenger vans. I'm speaking about minivans, okay? You are, you're talking about delivery vans. Sprinter vans, wheelchair vans, and many more. This is important. So, you you actually uh, so when we talk about commercial van insurance, we are speaking about: Are you a courier? Are you an um, a florist? Are you a caterer that make deliveries? Are you uh, electricians? Are you an electrician, plumber, or tradesman making service calls? Whatever that whatever you use a cargo van for, it's important that you have the right insurance. So if push come to shove if something happens your ass is protected and this is important you need to preserve your personal assets from a lawsuit okay so have the proper insurance and the thing is you can actually go to an insurance broker an insurance broker will look at your the type of van that you have and they will actually recommend a certain type of insurance so this is important okay you need to have commercial van insurance and this is not just the law it also for asset protection you want to actually protect your personal assets so mistake number one lacking the proper insurance coverage mistake number two up fitting this is so important I and mean, we have covered up fitting on other shows but uh, up fitting is it, it's an important element if you have a cargo van business okay so here are in our view in our research the top five up fitting mistakes that you should absolutely avoid so the thing is that People want to plan, it's a lot of uh, cargo van business owners want to plan their own DIY outfit. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying don't do this. If you have the resources, if you have the expertise, the experience, go go ahead and do it. But if you don't have the, the expertise, then you will need to think about an alternative plan. This is important, okay? So, mistake number one, not getting everyone involved, okay? So, if you have a, a cargo van business or you have a fleet and so you have a, a large team or a relatively small team. You gotta get you gotta get everybody involved. This is not a one man decision. No, okay. Make sure that you are basically involving everybody because they will be driving your, your cars. So make sure that you involve drivers, technicians, and and, uh, and whatnot. It's important to expand what, what we call the, the 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 feedback loop. Okay, everybody that gets involved in this discussion needs to have a voice. Mistake number two, not understanding the application. So it's important to understand that the application that you use to do the app fitting, make sure that you are, th th that app, make sure that you understand the functional requirements, okay? You also need to understand the functional requirements of the van itself. Mistake number three, not planning the specifications fully. 
Okay, so you want to be sure to fully plan out your vehicle outfit. Okay, so forgetting to plan is another mistake in our research that uh, fleet managers and cargo van business owners usually make. Number four, mistake number four, trying to please everyone. Don't try to please everyone, okay? You run your business. You run your cargo van business. You know you know the ins and outs of that business, okay? Why are you trying to listen to uh, third parties? You can listen to third parties, but you don't don't you don't have to necessarily do what they're asking you to do, okay? So this is important. And uh, mistake number five, not understanding the value of, of uh, outfits. You have to understand, even though based on our research, we have seen that outfits can be costly. The return on your investment with properly planned and uh, spec outfits more than makes up for the initial cost. Okay, this is basically an investment in your in your vehicle. This is an investment in your cargo van business. This is an investment in uh, your future sales. Think about that. This is really important. Mistake number three: USB. I'm not saying UPS, this is US, USB. <laughs> USB means what? A unique selling point. So failing to offer a unique and distinctive selling point is one mistake that cargo van business owners make. What is that? First of all, a unique selling point, also called unique selling proposition, is basically what makes your product or service better than competitors, okay? So what makes your cargo van business distinct? Boss, I want you to talk to me about that. What is what are your fortes? Okay, so the, the the thing is you have to find a way to first of all identify your fortes, your unique selling point, and also communicate that to potential clients. Okay, in online marketing, communicating your USP clearly and quickly is one of the keys to getting potential customers to convert on your site. But for your cargo van business, you need to find out the customer journey. You need to understand. How the customer make makes a decision in terms of loads okay how to how to get the best loads in your industry so you need to have a unique selling point and communicate that so when we talk about unique selling point this is what basically differentiates you from your competitors chances are you're not the only one you're not the only cargo van business in town okay you have uh, thousands of other cargo van business owners but what is what is making you different? You need to think about your resources. You need, maybe it's the vehicle that you have. Maybe it's the outfit that you have. You have the proper outfitting that basically can um, can help you uh, do uh, larger deliveries. Okay, this, those are important things to think about. Is it the quality of your service? Is it the quality? Is it the, the speed? How fast you deliver things? So you need to think about all the pros about to your, uh, your uh, about your business. And maybe minimize the cons okay look at the the advantages and minimize the drawbacks so this is something i really want you to do you can do it yourself you can do it with your team it's very easy it's a it's an easy brainstorming session that allows you to really identify you know exactly what makes you stand out in the market why should i hire you talk to me about that and why should i hire you versus uh your next door competitor or your next door of cargo van business owner Okay, this is important. Number four, pricing. So focusing on price over quality is a mistake that I want you to stop making today. I don't care how uh, beautiful your, your cargo van is or how whatever, I, you gotta really stop that, okay? So the thing is that if you, it, I'm not saying that you shouldn't focus on, on pricing. Pricing is important because pricing actually correlates or relates to your bottom line to your revenue and your income that's true but i want you to focus first on quality you want to prioritize quality in terms of the service in terms of the logistics how to actually take care of loads focus on quality and customers will come okay and and, and the thing is quality focusing on quality is a medium term to long term vision versus the price which is a short-term vision. But the, the thing is, you make more money. You have a more customer loyalty in the long run. You get more loads if you're able to focus on quality, okay? And uh, so so while this primarily applies to products used in your outfits, it also applies to who completes your outfits. It also applies to who 
delivers your loads. It also applies for, it also applies to technicians that do the work for you, to drivers, okay? Think about quality, I would say, uh, holistically, not just in, in one dimension, but multi-dimensionally, okay? Mystic number five, proof of delivery. So overlooking proof of delivery applications. So the thing is that it, it is a common practice to use a POD, proof of delivery applications these days for delivery businesses because as the name suggests, it shows proof that specific items have been delivered, okay? So without a POD app, there is a chance that you may be forced to have the things re-delivered, costing you more time and money in the process, and nobody wants that. So you need to have a POD, to try to find yourself a POD app that is a basically a clear enough that, that, that shows that you indeed have delivered the products at this location, at this hour. This is important for your cargo van business, okay? You don't want to lose money by, you know, going to the same location twice, especially if this is a, a, a remote location. You don't want to do that. So don't overlook proof of delivery applications. There are, there are tons of them out there. Some are free, some are paid, but even if you're paying $5 a month or $10 a month, it's totally worth it, totally worth it. Number six, maintenance. So not maintaining your vehicle or your fleet. Boss, when was the last time you maintained your fleet? When was the last time you maintained your vehicle? Talk to me about that. Are you neglect are you neglecting your um your vehicle? Because when we talk about a cargo van business, the fleet or the vehicle is the lifeblood here. Because without it, there's no way you can operate. Right? That that just makes sense. So the, the, the thing is that if you want the vehicle to always function optimally, you need to maintain it. Okay. And this may not sound like a big deal to you. However, watching over your vehicles and ensuring that they they get the care, attention, and products like protective coating will enable those vehicles to perform the way they should and expand their lifespan. Okay. This is important. So pay attention to those things. Main, uh, maintaining your fleet, maintaining your cargo van, uh, your cargo van um, business, the vehicles in that business is quintessential. Mistake number seven, the vehicle itself. Do you know your vehicle, boss? Not knowing your vehicle is mistake number seven. And this is a big blunder, that a big, a big mistake that a lot of uh, cargo van business owner make. A lot of cargo van business owners they, they really have no idea how their vehicle fun, their, their, the vehicle operates. Now, you might, be, you might be laughing right now at this, but this is really true. L let me ask you a question. Do you know what your, your, what your vehicle's maximum capacity for weight is? Do you know about properly balancing your, your, your truck or van to avoid uneven wear and maintenance problems? So don't fall into the trap of dreaming of your ideal cargo van without looking over the logistics, okay? So reading through your vehicle manual or look online for proper information is a must. You need to familiarize yourself with the vehicle you're driving, boss. It's important, okay? It's important. You need to know, because not just for, for logistical, uh, I would say logistical uh, uh, necessity, but you also need to comply with uh, a lot of regulations Okay, so how can you comply with regulations if you have no idea or you have uh, just an iota of idea about your business? So starting today, I want you to beef up your knowledge about your vehicle, how the vehicle operates, what are the, 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 the most critical information that you need to know about the vehicle. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're also having a conversation about the top 10 cargo van money losing mistakes. Okay, money losing mistakes you must absolutely avoid to be a successful startup. Number, where, where are we? Where are we? Number uh, eight, feedback. 
So feedback is important. So not listening to outside input. The thing here is that you are driving, you, you, you are maintaining a vehicle. You are operating a cargo van business. And the question is, and, I, and I've said this before in terms of a feedback loop, okay? The feedback loop can be internal, can also be, it can also be external. So are you listening to your customers? Are you, li are you listening to uh, your freight brokers? Are you listening to information on, uh, on uh, load boards? Are you listening to what's going on in the industry? You got you to gotta really pay attention to a lot of stuff, boss. This is important. I mean, you, you know, you can't just operate in a vacuum. No, you operate in an industry that is constantly changing. You have a lot of competitors here and your, your job is to always stay, stay on top of uh, whatever comes your way. OK, so if you want to actually uh, if you want to succeed in this business, listen to outside input. Now, I'm not saying that outside input will come to you in terms of an email. Hey. We have thought about your business and we are providing an we are providing input no sometimes collecting intel comes from uh, just being in tune with what's going on in the industry this could be for for instance reading industry magazines reading or going to trade fairs trade shows just having a clear idea of what's going on in the industry okay mystic number nine customer customization in other words copying a stock outfit you got to understand that you know the best outfit for your vehicle is one designed specifically for your van okay that's why we always recommend avoiding stock outfit plans because this don't take business and personal experience into consideration resulting in an outfit that doesn't solve your unique problems boss okay so a custom outfit guarantees that every shelf bin or ladder rack install installed it has a purpose it's important and because once you have that you will achieve the maximum amount of efficiency your cargo van can support without wasting time without wasting a dime without wasting resources on unnecessary additions okay this is important so while a custom outfit sometimes feel like feels like it's a major investment of time or money don't lose sight of the bigger picture boss this is important because think about it once an outfit is done it's done and it benefits it benefits your, your your cargo van and your cargo van business for a long time for a long time so he, here you go this is the roi i was talking to you about the roi is really really good for a custom outfit not a stock outfit mystic number 10 location so failing to plan effectively yeah 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 this is important are you planning your your deliveries are you planning your routes? Talk to me about traffic jams. Talk to me about car accidents. Talk to me about unforeseen weather conditions and more. So the thing here is you got to really pay attention to, to those things because those are external exogenous elements that can uh, disrupt your, your uh, cargo van business on a day to day basis. I'm not talking to I'm not talking here about theory. OK, I'm not talking theoretically here. I'm talking practically. Like today or tomorrow, have you planned your route? Do you know what's going to what's going to happen in terms of uh, weather? Those are things you need to pay attention to. Okay, this is important. So you need to identify major events and their predicted attendance so that you or your drivers and logistics teams can avoid them. If there's stuff if there's stuff happening in your in your city or in your area, you got to have a, a clear idea. Okay. Also identify clusters of smaller events that combine have attendance levels similar to major events. Okay, this is important because I'm not talking about the, the next football game or the next basketball game or the next baseball team is in town, whatever. No, no, no. You got to do that also, but it's true. But you also need to identify those smaller clusters, those clusters of smaller events, okay, that combined have attendance levels similar to major events. You also want to pinpoint the impacted area that is your traffic routes events of events such as marathons, parades and school holidays. Those are those can have a deleterious, a negative impact on your delivery routes. In other words, these things can slow you down, boss. They can slow you down. OK, so, so you, uh, you have to really um, plan here and you want to track. You want to really track 
live disruptive events at scale with important detail your, your teams or 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 yourself can process quickly okay so you want to be very clear about what's happening in your area or what's happening in the area where you are about to deliver the stuff and understand that you want to understand how major events impact driver supply for faster deliveries during busy times the thing is during rush hour what is the impact of rush hour on your business those are things you need to so i'm just giving you here a constellation of uh, elements a constellation of uh, facts that can have a, a a big impact a negative impact on your cargo van business if you fail to plan effectively so the the, the, the thing is you need to plan effectively all right this is it for today's conversation i was talking to you about the top 10 cargo van business money losing mistakes you must avoid absolutely if you want to be a successful startup number one insurance so lacking the proper insurance number two upfitting making an upfitting uh, mistake number three usb failing to offer a unique and distinctive selling points number four pricing so focusing on price over quality number five proof of delivery so overlooking pod applications number five number six rather maintenance not maintaining your fleet number seven vehicle not knowing your vehicle number eight feedback not listening to outside input number nine customization so copying a stock outfit number 10 location failing to plan effectively Thank you so much for your attention. I will speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.